The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. One. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One. Two. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One. Two. Three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One. Two. Three. Four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, Caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled the hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. That's the story of. The Very Hungry Caterpillar The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl Early one morning, the wind blew the spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. <coughs> nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <coughs> bah! Bah! bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? 
The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <laughs> ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <coughs> oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Bark the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow, meow cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Called the dog. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. <coughs> Cock a doodle do! Crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. And that's the story of The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome! chirped a big cricket, rubbing its wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, 
But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening. Where did dragon fly? Gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance. The cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The end. And that's the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly, and it flashed its light, searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. Hear that noise? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. What's going on? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. Quiet out there. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. What is it? Hey, stop fighting! The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. There was a dog. And a cat. Meow hiss. And an owl, their eyes reflecting the light. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. Look! Wow! It's beautiful! The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. They were fireworks, sparkling and glittering and shimmering the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then, the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. A group of fireflies 
flashing their lights. Now, the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The end, and that's the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. Hi kids, it's Miss Kay again and today we are going to read about something that crawls. Do you have an idea about what it is? We're going to read about the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm so excited, so let's do it. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you spot where the egg is? You're right, that's the egg. And what do you call this? This is the moon. Moon, you're right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. What is this? This is the sun. You're right. It's the sun. Now, can you help Miss Kay spot where the tiny caterpillar is? <gasps> oh, there is our tiny caterpillar. Can you please say hi? Let's wave hi to our tiny caterpillar. Hi. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Let's do a big bite. Yum! But he was still hungry. How many apples did the caterpillar eat on Monday? One. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Nom! Nom! But he was still hungry. How many pears did the caterpillar eat on Tuesday? Let's count. One. Two, two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Yum, yum, yum. But he was still hungry. How many plums did the caterpillar eat on Wednesday? Let's count. One, two, three. Show me number three using your fingers. Three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many strawberries did a caterpillar eat on Thursday? One, two, three, four. Can you please show number four? Four, that's right. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many oranges did a caterpillar eat on Friday? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Show number five using your hand. Number five. This is number five. <gasps> oh, what is this? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That's a lot of food, don't you think so? Can we count how many food did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? Let's start. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Show me number ten using your fingers. <gasps> ten. That's a lot of food. How many nom noms should we do? Let's do ten nom noms, okay? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> that night he had a stomach ache. <sighs> I ate a lot of food. See, it's not good to eat a lot of food because your stomach might hurt. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Yay, our caterpillar feels much better now. 
Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Ooh, do you still remember how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny? This is how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny. But after eating a one nice green leaf, now he is big, and he's also. Fat! Are you ready to see a big and fat caterpillar? <gasps> Let's count one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh! Our caterpillar is so big and it's so fat. Ooh, hi, caterpillar. Can you please say hi to caterpillar? Hi, caterpillar. Look how big and how fat our caterpillar is now. Woo! Hi, caterpillar. Now, let's see what's going to happen to our big and fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. So this is our cocoon. It starts with letter C and the sound of C is can you please say k, k, k? Okay. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole into the cocoon. Pushed his way out and. Poof, 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 poof. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look how colorful the butterfly is. Can we say hi, butterfly? Wave hi to the butterfly. Why, butterfly? So our caterpillar is no longer tiny and no longer small. Now he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Yay, yay, yay! I enjoyed this story so much. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today we're going to read another fun story. We're going to read the story of The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. Come on and join Miss K. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Can you spot where the spider is? The spider is right there. This is a spider. Spider. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? This is a horse. A horse says nay. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? This is a grass. What animal is this? It's a cow. Cow. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba, ba, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? This is a sheep. Sheep. The sheep is in the meadow. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? These are rocks. Rocks. What animal is this? It's a goat. Goat. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? This is a mud. Mud. Pig. The 
The pig is in the mud. Pig. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof woof! Barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? This is a dog. The dog is running. Dog. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? Cat. The cat is taking a nap. Cat. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? This is a duck. The duck is on the pond. Duck. The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. Cock a doodle doo, crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? This is a fly. And what animal is this? It's a rooster. Rooster. And the spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Woo woo! Asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? This is an owl. Owl. And of course, this is a web. Web. The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Oh, the spider is sleeping now. It got very tired making its web. The end. And that's the story of... The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. Hi kids! Are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to learn about insects as we read the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. Come on and let's join Miss K! The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Can you spot where the cricket is? This is the cricket. Cricket. Can you say it? Cricket. This is the sun. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the little cricket. Big cricket. Little cricket? Big cricket. Do you know how a cricket looks like in real life? This is a cricket. 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 Good morning with a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the locust. Locust. A locust looks like this. Locust. Say it one more time. Locust. Hello whispered a praying mantis scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this? This is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. This is how a praying mantis looks like. Praying mantis. See that? 
Good day! Crunch a worm, munching its way out of an apple. Um, yum, 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 yum. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Where is the worm? Oh, the worm is there. It's munching its way out of an apple. This is how a fruit worm looks like. Worm. A worm. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. A spittle bug looks like this. A spittle bug. Say it one more time. Spittle bug. Good afternoon, screech a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a cicada. Cicada. A cicada looks like this. Cicada. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this, kids? It's a bumblebee. Bumblebee. And a bumblebee looks like this. Bumblebee. Good evening, where the dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is how a dragonfly looks like. Dragonfly. Good night. Buzz the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What are these? These are mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes makes a buzzing sound. A mosquito looks like this. Mosquito. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness this is a luna moth a luna moth a luna moth looks like this luna moth as the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance the cricket saw another cricket she too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. These two are both crickets. So both of these insects are crickets. They look like this. Crickets. The end. And that's the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. Oh wait, I think the author has an important thing to tell us here. Let's read. Did you know that there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets? Some live underground, others above, some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. Wow! So by rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. That's a great thing to know about crickets. I hope that you enjoyed our story for today. Let's study the insects that we just learned from the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. Let's see if you can guess them. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. This is a cricket. Yes. 
This is a locust. This is a praying mantis. This is a worm. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. What is this? A cicada. How about this? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Dragonfly. It's a dragonfly. Mosquito. A mosquito. Luna moth. Luna moth. And these are crickets. Again, we learned this from the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. See you kids again next time. Don't forget to ask your grown-ups to subscribe to our channel so you could learn more words and of course listen to more stories with Miss K. Bye for now. Hi kids! It's time to learn with Miss K. Today we are going to read the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. Let's start! The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. Do you know how a firefly looks like? Can you spot where the firefly is? The firefly is right there. That's a firefly. A firefly looks like this. This is a firefly. Can you say it? Firefly. How about this? What is this? This is a sun. It's a sun. And the sun looks like this, right? Sun. Can you please say sun? Sun. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. Oh, poor firefly. The firefly is lonely because the firefly is searching for other... Other what? It's searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. Do you know how a light bulb looks like? This is a light bulb. A light bulb. Can you say it? Light bulb. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. Where is the candle? Can you point it using your finger? That's the candle. This is a candle. Candle. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The flashlight is right there. And the flashlight looks like this. What is this? This is a flashlight. A flashlight. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. Where is the lantern? The lantern is right there. This is a lantern. A lantern. A lantern is glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. There was a dog. Woof, woof, woof. Grrr. And a cat. What's the sound of the cat? Meow, meow. And an owl. Their eyes reflecting the lights. Do you know the sound that the owl makes? The owl says, hoot, hoot, hoot. So, the eyes of the dog, cat, and owl are reflecting the lights just like this. Look at where the arrows are pointing. We call these eyes. These are the eyes. They're reflecting the lights. 
the firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. This is a car and the car has a headlight. The headlight is right there and it shines so bright during nighttime. The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. What do you think are these? These are? Hmm, let's read. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. So these are what we call fireworks. Fireworks. Can you say it? Fireworks. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. So the firefly is still looking and searching for other fireflies through the through the night. This is nighttime because there's a moon right there. So we call this night. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. Do you still remember what the firefly is looking for? Let's find out. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. So here's our firefly and now there are a group of... There are a group of... Fireflies! Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The end. And that's the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. Our next activity is based from the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar and we are going to learn about days of the week. Do you still remember the food that the caterpillar ate in our story? Don't worry, Miss K will help you. So we have pictures here of all the food that the caterpillar ate. So we are going to match them with the right day, okay? The very hungry caterpillar. So on Monday, the caterpillar ate through... What did the caterpillar eat on Monday? The caterpillar ate through one apple. So let's put apple here for Monday. On Tuesday, the caterpillar ate through two pears. Where is the picture of the two pears? Two pears. This is for Tuesday. On Wednesday, the caterpillar ate through three plums. Where is the picture of the three plums? Three plums for Wednesday. On Thursday, the caterpillar ate through four strawberries. Where is the picture of the four strawberries? Four strawberries! The caterpillar ate this on Thursday. On Friday, the caterpillar ate through five oranges. Where is the picture of the five oranges? This is the picture of the five oranges and the caterpillar ate it on Friday. Friday. We only have two pictures left. What did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? From what I remember, the caterpillar ate a lot of food. Which picture has a lot of food? This picture, right? Let's see all the food that the caterpillar ate on Saturday. We have chocolate cake, ice cream cone, pickle, Swiss cheese, salami, lollipop, one slice of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. So let's put it on Saturday. And finally, on Sunday, the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Days of the week. Hi kids! It's Miss Kay again and today we're gonna do something fun with our hands. Do you remember when we read about the story of the very hungry caterpillar? Now we're gonna do a very fun activity. So I have an empty jar here. It used to have peanuts but you know Miss Kay was hungry like the caterpillar so I ate all of the peanuts. Don't eat it if you're allergic of course. And I turn it into a... What do you call this? 
a caterpillar but it looks like our caterpillar is hungry because there's nothing inside so we gotta feed the caterpillar miss k has several pictures here of all the things that our caterpillar ate so i'm going to scatter them all over the place and help me out feed our very hungry caterpillar we are going to find out who really listened to the story of the very hungry caterpillar. We're gonna do some counting and of course we're gonna name the things that a caterpillar ate. Are you ready? Are you ready to answer some questions? I'm so excited. Can we call the caterpillar? Can we say caterpillar? Okay, at the count of three, we're all gonna say caterpillar. Okay, one two three caterpillar oh look who's coming our very hungry caterpillar yes our caterpillar is very very hungry look there's nothing inside are you ready to feed our very hungry caterpillar okay so what did the caterpillar eat on monday hmm look at the pictures here what did a caterpillar eat on monday the caterpillar ate through one apple you're right can you point where the apple is here we need to feed the caterpillar where is the apple can you spot it that's right this is the apple can you please say apple uh uh apple apple okay how many apples did the caterpillar eat just one so now it's time to feed the caterpillar one yay next what did the hungry caterpillar eat on tuesday hmm who can guess who can guess what the caterpillar ate on tuesday the caterpillar ate through two p -p -p pears you're right can you spot the two pears here hmm which one is pear <gasps> what color is it it's green can you point it using your finger you're doing a great job yes this one is the first pear so let's feed the caterpillar uh yum 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 next one this is correct um two so the caterpillar ate through two pears next what did the caterpillar eat on wednesday on wednesday the caterpillar ate through three What is it? Three plums. You're right again. You're doing an amazing job. You really listen to the story. Can you point where the three plums are? Yes, this is the plum. Now let's feed the caterpillar. Let's count. One, two, Our caterpillar is starting to be happy. Next, on Thursday, what did the caterpillar eat? On Thursday, the caterpillar ate through four. Mm, what did the caterpillar eat? Hmm, let me see. Who can tell me what the caterpillar ate on Thursday? The caterpillar ate through four. Correct! Four strawberries! Now point where the strawberries are. Oh, our caterpillar is so excited. Yes, this is the picture of a strawberry. So let's feed the caterpillar the strawberry. Let's count. One. One. Two. three and four four strawberries yum, 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 yum. next what did
did the caterpillar eat on Friday? Do you remember what the caterpillar ate on Friday? The caterpillar ate through five... Five... Very good! Five oranges! Spot where the oranges are. Mm -hmm. Where is the orange here? Very good. This is a picture of the orange. Say orange. Orange. Let's feed the caterpillar. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Yay! Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we're starting to have few food now. So let's put them all here so you could clearly see them. What day comes after Friday? It's Saturday. What did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? Hmm, I remember that the caterpillar ate a lot of food. Who can tell me the food that the caterpillar ate? We have to do them in order. What's the first food? Number one food that the caterpillar ate on Saturday? The caterpillar ate through one piece of chocolate cake. Where is the chocolate cake here? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, feed me, feed me. Right, this is the chocolate cake. Let's feed our very hungry caterpillar. Mm, yum, yum. After the chocolate cake, the caterpillar ate through one ice cream cone. Where is the picture of ice cream cone here? Very good. Ice cream cone. Mm, yummy, yummy ice cream. Let's feed the caterpillar. Ice cream cone. Next, the caterpillar ate through one p -p -p pickle. Where is the pickle? Point it. Point to me where the pickle is. <gasps> Very good. It's the pickle. Can you please say pickle? Let's feed the caterpillar pickle. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Next, the caterpillar ate through one slice of Swiss cheese. Where is the Swiss cheese? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. This is the Swiss cheese. Let's feed the caterpillar. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. After the Swiss cheese, the caterpillar ate through one slice of salami. Can you point to me where the salami is? Where is the salami? Very good. This is the salami. Caterpillar, are you ready? Um, yum, yum, yum. Feed me. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. After the salami, the caterpillar ate through one lollipop. Where's the lollipop? <laughs> Very good again. This is the lollipop. Ready, caterpillar? Um, yum, 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 yum. After the lollipop, the caterpillar ate through one piece of cherry pie. Where is the cherry pie? Correct. This is the cherry pie. Let's feed the caterpillar. Caterpillar say ah ah yum 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 yum. Next, the caterpillar ate through one sausage. Where is the sausage? Where is the sausage here? Yes, sausage. Okay, let's feed the caterpillar again. Sausage. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Next, the caterpillar ate through one 
Cupcake. Where is the cupcake? Is this the cupcake? No. Is this the cupcake? No. Where is the cupcake? Yes, this is the cupcake. Let's feed the caterpillar. Um, yum, 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 yum. And last one. On Saturday, the caterpillar ate through one slice of... <gasps> what is this? <gasps> What's the name of this? <laughs> Watermelon. Amazing job. Let's feed the caterpillar. Um, yum, 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 yum. The caterpillar ate a lot on Saturday. Because of that, the caterpillar had a stomach ache. <sighs> my stomach is hurting. My stomach is hurting. Help me. Help me. What did the caterpillar eat on Sunday in order to feel better? On Sunday, the caterpillar ate through... Leaf. Very good. Um, yum, 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 yum. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I'm so happy now. I'm so happy. Now I'm full. I ate a lot of food. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at our caterpillar. The caterpillar is so happy. And the caterpillar is no longer hungry because we gave the caterpillar a lot of food. Yay! Good job, kids, for remembering the story. And thank you so much for helping Miss K feed the caterpillar. Our next activity is based from the story of the very lonely firefly. Our next activity is about finishing the pattern. Miss K has pictures here and all we have to do is complete our pattern, okay? If you don't know how to do this, Miss K will help you. So we have firefly, firefly, flashlight, flashlight, firefly. What is the next picture? Is it light bulb? No. Is it firefly? Yes, firefly. Let's put it there. Let's go to the next pattern. Light bulb, light bulb, lantern, lantern, light bulb. What is the next picture? Is it candle? No. Is it fireworks? No. Is it light bulb? Yes, light bulb. The next pattern. Candle. Candle. Car. Car. Candle. What is the next picture? Is it candle or fireworks? Candle. And the last one. Fireworks. Fireworks. Eyes of an owl. Eyes of an owl. Fireworks. And what would be the next picture? It's fireworks. Very good kiss. That's so easy for you, huh? Thank you for helping Miss K in this activity. Now let's go to the next one. This activity is about insects. And the pictures of the insects are not complete. We need to find the other half of the pictures. Where are the other halves? Oh, they're right here, okay? So this one is based from the story of the very quiet cricket. What we are going to do here is just to complete the picture with the right part. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Let's find the other half of this. Is this a cricket? No. Is this a bumblebee? No. Is this a... A dragonfly? Wow, yes, it's a dragonfly. Let's put it there. Next, let's find the other half of this picture. Is it a cicada? No. Is it a luna moth? No. Is it a praying mantis? Yes, it's a praying mantis. What do you think is this one? Is it a luna moth? No. Is it a locust? 
It looks like it's a locust. Locust. The next one is a... Let's try the sick. Sick. Oh, yes. It's a cicada. How about this? What do you think is this? Is it Luna Moth? No. Is it a worm? No. Is it a spittle bug? Yes, it's a spittle bug. This is the other half of the... Let's try the mosquito. Oh yes, it's a mosquito. This looks easy. This one is a... Is it Luna Moth? No. Is it a worm? Yes, it's a worm. And this one is a... Let's try the cricket. Oh, looks like it's the other half of the cricket. So we have the cricket here. We only have two insects left. What do you think is this? Is it a Luna Moth? No. Is it a bumblebee? It's a bumblebee. And the last picture is a Luna Moth. A Luna Moth. A Luna Moth. So we have Cricket, Locust, Praying Mantis, Spittlebug, Cicada, Bumblebee, Dragonfly, Mosquito, Luna Moth, and Worm.